Hey Canada, hello Olympic fans. It is Friday morning, day 14 of the Winter Olympics in Vancouver. My name is Keith, I'm in Mississauga, Ontario. That is very close to the city of Toronto. And this is a K-Smack winner man who's a big fan of uh, the Team Canada hockey jerseys and the team and everything like that. Anyway, yes, I'm wearing this hockey gear because the last few times Canada has played in one, I've been wearing this in the morning. The day I didn't wear this, they played the USA and they lost. So you gotta go with the trends. You just never know. So gotta be careful. Gotta wear my, whatever I did the last time we won. Okay, speaking of winning, I haven't been on Facebook in a while because Canada lost that game to USA. So I stayed away. I didn't want to read the comments. So I should get on there. I get a lot of my information off Facebook and the fans and stuff. So I should get on there and see what people are saying. Haven't been there in the last couple of days. Now we have achieved our goal of one. One out of four. We're expecting gold in both hockey and both curlings. Men's and women's. So women's won the hockey. Yes, when a man was happy, we celebrated. But now we're going on to bigger, better things. We got to get all four of these things. Yes, we do. And the curling finals are today for women. So we're playing Sweden. We got to get the curling. Yes, we do. And of course, later today is the big hockey game, Canada versus Slovakia. And that's when we're all going to just go crazy. It's Friday night. Places will be packed. People will be watching your high depth televisions and all that. It's going to be so exciting, Winter Man. Short track speed skating goes tonight with a lot of medals. And Canada's got some hopefuls in that. You betcha. The women's parallel snowboard. I guess that's when two people go down side by side. The winner moves on. The loser's out. That's going to be exciting today too, Winter Man. So uh, I don't know who's in for Canada, but we seem to be good at snowboarding, so I'll have to watch that. Four-man bobsleigh go tonight, too, and Canada will definitely have a good team. You know, all these sports tonight are going on later, later tonight, and, um, Hmm. See, I wanted to go down to our local pub, have a few beer, watch it on the big screen with the high-def televisions with lots of fans cheering. And that's great, but the pub only shows that one sport. And I want to watch all these other sports. So it looks like I might stay home, flip through the channels, get a feel for everything, and, um, and do that. That's what I think I'll do, Winterman, as, as much as I like to go out. Oh, John Montgomery won the gold medal in Skeleton, and uh, he's going to be on Oprah today. So all you girls that like Oprah, watch Oprah today. Canadians on there. Okay, our medal count right now is 17. But you know the scary thing? <laughs> Three of those medals went to men. Three. So the women are cleaning up. Our girls are the best. Our guys got to pull up their hockey pants, winter man. You don't wear hockey pants. Oh, okay, anyway, um, I should mention that Scott and Tessa won a co-ed event, so it's kind of like half and half. So that's kind of different to have co-ed sports in the Olympics. You never think of that. So it's kind of like a half medal went to the guys for that. Oh, one controversy happened late last night after the women won their hockey game. Here, I'll let me show you. After the girls won, they're sitting on the ice, getting their pictures taken. They whipped out a bunch of cigars and started drinking beer on the ice. You know, Molson Canadian, Molson's one of the sponsors. Anyway, people didn't like this because they said it made, they're bad role models. But anyway, they won the Olympic Games. I bet you none of the girls actually smoke. They're just lighting up cigars and having fun. And they're drinking beer, of course. And one of the girls is 18 on the team. She's the girl that scored both goals for Canada. She's sitting on the ice, drinking a beer, won the gold medal, and people said, hey, she's underage. She shouldn't be drinking. Well, you know something, Canada? You know, get over it. Get over it. They won the gold medal, damn it. I mean, the girl's parents are probably in the stands watching. It's not like she's sneaking out drinking with her friends. She's having a beer, celebrating with a bunch of women that won a gold medal. You know, over in Europe, I don't think they have a drinking age. Kids drink wine with their parents for meals. It's just not a big deal. Canada and the United States are the only places that have these minimum drinking age things. And, you know, and it's probably why kids drink so much, because they're not allowed to. You know, it's just that simple. Anyway, just get over it. There's always people that want to pick out the worst part of a great event, a great achievement. Canada won gold at women's hockey. Jeez, have a beer. Have a bottle of champagne. That's what celebrating is all about. Don't say, hey, you want a gold medal? Now go to your room and don't you dare have a beer. Don't you dare have fun or enjoy it. Come on, we want a gold medal. You've got to enjoy it to the max because all the adults are out drinking beer in the pubs. Anyway, that's my opinion, Winter Man. Come on, Canada, celebrate. This is a once-in-a-lifetime achievement. Maybe Canada can do it two or three times, but you get my drift. Anyway, I'll be back later tonight to recap what happened today, and hopefully I have super excellent good news about medals and Canada winning hockey. Oh, Friday night. Man, Friday night, everyone's going to be watching this hockey game. And Canada better win because they already beat Russia. Slovakia should be an easier game, although they do have some good players. Yes, they do. 
okay, Winter Man, let's go watch TV and get ready for late night television because it's all going to be on at once and it's going to be great.